Welcome to my Sonic GDK tutorial. In this series of video, I'm going to show you how to wor work in Sonic GDK source codes. Um, the f this this series might not be too important for you, but I see that the tutorial about Sonic GDK is very limited. Uh, no offense for the for the creator. Alright, uh, this first video you might want to skip if you n already know how to do it. Uh, but for those who don't know how to, um, I'm going to show you step by step. Uh, first, you have to download the source code of Sonic GDK. You can search in Google, like Sonic G GDK. Uh, not tutorial, sorry. Oh yeah. Okay, now just open this tab and wait for a moment. Ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, the first thing you want you want to s to know. Uh, the first thing you want to know is that you for editing you should use this you should use this one not not the ones with standalone uh, the standalone is just for preview while this source code is the actual editing uh, the actual editing tool for Sonic GDK but see it requires GDK in November 2012 so where do we get it? Uh, it's here, or you can uh, click www.gdk.com. But well, it will. Uh, we already have this link here, and it'll jump us to www.unrealengine.com udk slash udk slash all right um so you m you want to open this download page i'll show you uh ser versions of udk and you want this version because it needs that that certain version you can use the newer version uh, can't guarantee it, but it usually works. Uh, but at this date, uh, the current newest release was the November 2012. So, yeah, gonna click this. Uh, I'm not gonna click this because I already have the November 2012. And then, uh, I think the best. Uh, I think the best link is the put locker, um, but you can use the other links too, like the deposit, deposit files or turbobit.net. Um, this two, I don't really know. I don't really know if it works well. At least it works well for me. But if I'm not mistaken, I use the put locker. All right. Uh, I already ha I already downloaded the source code, a very same one. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the uh, the firmware installer. I think it's here. I uh, know it's 2011. Hang on. Okay. <coughs> Let's see if I still got it. ah eh sorry. Eh wait. Oh yes, uh here it is. Uh eleven for November and two thousand twelve. Uh ignore this beta. It's always gonna be beta. Uh, as you can see here, there's no 
there is no version that doesn't have the beta um, suff suffix so I already have it installed here I actually have the uh, two version of UDK first the 2011 and 2012 uh, actually no it's uh, it's the October version. Uh, sorry, <laughs> it's the October version of the November. No, I think I forgot to install the November version. But well, let's just make do with the 2012 October. I think there. Th um. I think I use the. October October version, but uh, <laughs> big deal. It's all almost all the same. So let's let's open the for uh sorry. So now let's jump to the source code itself. Should be here. Uh, it all mixed up. If I'm not mistaken, it's written with a quite funny name. Uh. Or not. This is actually the preview one. So it should be this one. And uh, no, no, not, not that one as well. Ah. Here it is. Uh, as you can see here, it's a really complicated name. Uh, but it helps it remind everything. So you want to extract this to your UDK folder after you install it, of course. But since I already installed it, um, you will, you might, you need to extract this to extract this all to the UDK 2000 uh, UDK folder uh, don't go too far from here or don't go to uh, you know just exactly this one not the exact name but the exact directory as you can see here the UDK 2011 at December, decade 2012, October. Uh, well, I already click OK, but I'm not gonna click this. I already extracted this code. Uh, but if you extract it the same, uh, it's gonna have the same effect. Uh, okay. Well <laughs> now open the Android front end. I I already f compiled it. Uh, okay first first before you can use this source code you have to compile all the codes the these codes yes that's a lot of codes yeah okay so when your under front end starts you will need to full recompile not this because it won't detect it won't detect the compiling um, it won't detect the script because uh, sonicgdk.u is already here so you have to full recompile and you're ready to go okay uh, that's all for now uh, catch up with me in the next tutorial and we're gonna start having fun with the Sonic EDK. Thank you very much.